Isaiah 54 no weapon formed against me shall prosper tell yourself Deuteronomy 28 I am the head and not the tail <laughs> tell yourself Psalm 18 the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer tell yourself Psalm 20 some trust in chariots and some trust in horses but we will remember the name of the Lord tell yourself Romans 8 36 Hi guys, so we are out for rugby as I as am, <laughs> as I had said earlier, and uh, this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this two piece with my red top. I, did, I didn't want to do like a white or a black because it was giving too much black and white. So we're through in the red top, and I'm carrying this brown bag. My hair, the usual, nothing much, and then that's me, no makeup, no nothing. Yeah, at least today we get a full look. Those boxes are the ones I used to unbox the mirror. Don't mind that. Yeah, so baby girl is out. Looking scrumptious, gorgeous. Yeah, so see you on the other side. My friends are waiting for me in town. Yo, yo, yeah. Yeah, let's go, guys. Oh, before we go, let's take our first mirror selfie. Pose. Anyway, see you. I want to school them best. I can do best. But no, I'm not. So we are doing. And I want to go to the house. I'm going to
If you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. And that bill from regret is generational. When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. Mm -hmm. Bravery is not the absence of fear. Bravery is feeling fear and moving forward anyway. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. 
The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. When it feels scary to jump, Ian, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. What if we have that kind of attitude? The car's repossessed. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off. But you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful in any area of their life until they had suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests. And if you have a dream and you commit to it, it will come to pass. One of the ways you know that it's a blessing from God is when you don't have to exchange your mental health as payment to keep it. You know why some of us are so numb? Because you're trying to make it work. God is like, that's not me, that's you. That's not my will, that's your will. You're losing your mental health trying to keep what God didn't sin and that's in God to bless what hell sent. One way you can tell if it's a blessing from God, you don't have to exchange your mental health as payment just so that you can keep it. He said it straight. Isaiah 54, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Tell yourself, Deuteronomy 28, I am the head and not the tail. <laughs> Tell yourself, Psalm 18, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Tell yourself, Psalm 20, some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord. Tell yourself, Romans 8, 37, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Tell yourself, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Tell yourself, Job 13, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Tell yourself, Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? They can see you growing. They can see you're changing. They can see you don't come around no more. They can see you don't get involved with this no more. They can see your language changing. They can see your schedule changing. They see, you know, even sometimes different people you're starting to hang around with. What's so important is to not shame someone because you outgrew them, but invite them on a journey to grow with you.